Welcome to my lecture online. Here's our next example where we're going to try to determine which method is the best or the easiest. Remember that completing the square and quadratic formula always works. But factoring may be easier and faster if it can be easily factored. So let's take a look and see if it's indeed the case. So that means that we're going to write this as the product of two binomials. We know we need an x and an x. The signs dictate that they both need to be negative. And I need two numbers. When I multiply, they give me two. When I add, they give me three. Two and one will do the trick. And notice that means that it is factorable. And therefore, I can write when I have the product of two binomials set equal to zero, that either x minus two is equal to zero or x minus one is equal to zero, which means that x equals two or x equals one as the two solutions to my quadratic equation. That was pretty quick, so you can see that if it's factorable, that's a pretty good method. Now let's see what we can come up with when we complete the squares. I know that I have a one in front of the x squared term, so I don't have to divide everything by a. Then I move the two across, so I get x squared minus three x is equal to a negative two. Then I take half the middle term, square it, and add it to both sides. So we have x squared minus 3x plus a minus 3 over 2 squared. That's half the middle term, or the coefficient of the middle term squared, equals minus 2 plus a minus 3 over 2 squared. I've got to be careful not to get too confused here. All right. So continuing with that, I end up with x squared. Or actually, you know what? We can go ahead and factor this right here because now we're dealing with a perfect square. So this can be written as x minus 3 over 2 quantity squared. Since that's a perfect square, it's going to be the square of a binomial. Is equal to, here we have minus 2 uh, plus 9 over 4. Now, of course, I have to add this together. So we end up with x minus 3 over 2 quantity squared is equal to... Uh, writing this over a common denominator of 4, that would be minus 8 over 4 plus 9 over 4. <clears throat> so notice that will be uh, x minus 3 over 2 quantity squared is equal to minus 8 plus 9, which is 1 over 4. All right, now we're ready to take the square root of both sides. So this means that I'm going to get x minus 3 over 2 is equal to plus or minus the square root of 1 over 4 which of course is equal to plus or minus the square root of, well, I don't have to write it like this. I could simply write it as plus or minus one half, because the square root of one over four is one half. Now I can move the minus three over two over, so I get x is equal to three over two plus or minus one half, which means that x is equal to, when I add the two together, that gives me two or four over two, which is two, or when I subtract, I get one. So there you go. X equals one or X equals two are the two solutions, which are the very same two solutions we got before, but with a lot more work. Now I'm going to use a quadratic formula. So I'm going to identify A, B, and C. A is equal to one, B is equal to minus three, C is equal to two, and I'll plug those numbers into the quadratic formula. So we end up with X is equal to minus B, that would be minus times a minus 3 plus or minus the square root of b squared, which is minus 3 squared, minus 4 times a times c, all divided by 2 times a. All right, simplifying this, x is equal to minus times a minus, which is plus, plus or minus the square root of 9 minus 8, all divided by 2. So x is equal to 3 plus or minus the square root of 1 over 2. x is equal to 3 plus or minus 1 over 2. So that means that x is equal to 3 plus 1 is 4 divided by 2, which is 2. Or x is equal to 3 minus 1 over 2, which is 1. And notice, again, the very same two solutions. Now, which method was fastest? By all means, factoring was fastest. If we can factor it easily, that's the quick way to go. Completing the square method seemed to be a lot of work. Using the quadratic formula was relatively quick. So I would say factoring was fastest, quadratic formula was second, completing the square was third at least, in my opinion, for whatever that's worth. And that is how it's done. Nothing. <laughs>